Texans preseason is literally a few days away and yes I understand it's just preseason preseason doesn't matter at all but it is good to look at some of these younger players and some of these players coming back from injury and just you know to have football back like it's about time so you no know, it is preseason so I'm gonna give you a few things to watch for a few players I guess starting off with the secondary Kevin Johnson and Aaron Colvin Kevin Johnson it's rumored that he's doing really good in training camp can he transition that against other players that aren't his teammates Colvin means to shut down nickel corner I just like to see him out there see what he does and Jonathan Joseph did struggle like the first week of training camp but he's like been more quiet as of late you know probably, he was probably just knocking some rust off hopefully but I don't expect Jonathan Joseph to play honestly a lot of these older vets probably won't play like I don't expect to see Clowney out there Watt might not be out there J. Joe might not be out there maybe even Honey Badger might not be out there honestly next we got the offensive line I think interior wise will be fine but if you really want to watch the offensive line definitely watch Julian Davenport and Chantro Henderson Davenport has been doing really good in training camp apparently and Henderson did start off kinda of bad but he's actually been doing good this past week so definitely watch Chantro Henderson Chantro Henderson will be going up against Justin Houston one of the better pass rushers in the league top five if Houston does play because you just don't know in preseason like if these guys are gonna play or not so Henderson could have his hands full for like a couple drives because starters only play like one or two drives honestly so definitely watch that of course Deshaun Watson our quarterback is back let's see what he does I'm pretty sure he's gonna play I'm almost certain he will I mean it's just vanilla offense vanilla defense but you know it's still good to see number four back out there uh next guy is JJ Watt and Winnie Merciless they might not be out there but if they are they'll just watch them Whitney I don't expect them to be that rusty Watt might be really rusty but let's see how he does next we got the young boys Justin Reed surprisingly Justin Reed is actually kinda sharing reps with Kareem Jackson with the ones so maybe Justin Reed could potentially be starting week one I mean I doubt it but if he's listed with the ones in practice then no it must mean good things so definitely watch Justin Reed one of the guys I'm more excited about one of the rookies and also watch Duke Ezio for I haven't really heard his name much coming out of camp but he's definitely a guy I'm really high on he was like a projected third rounder dropped to the sixth round due to injuries and we picked him up there let's see how he does he's probably gonna be going up against the thirds perhaps I'm pretty sure next guy Braxton Miller now Braxton Miller was supposed to be like a project guy Braxton's going into year three in year three I expect them to finally be able to put everything together and become a competent player he showed flashes of it last season really late in the year around like the week 13 through week 15 range he was pretty decent but then I think he got hurt or something happened something happened but Braxton was actually looking competent so let's see how he does probably against the twos I don't think they put him over Bruce Ellington and unfortunately a guy I was really really excited about Kiki Koti he will not be playing in this Thursday's game he tweaked the hamstring so it's not that big of an injury but he will be held out for this week at least at least this week he might be back next week not too sure but we won't get to see him this week next guy Sammy Coates now Sammy Coates I really didn't think he had a chance to make the roster if I'm being honest but from what I've heard so far out of camp Coates has been really balling out and he's probably gonna go up against the twos as well unless they set out DeAndre Hopkins then I can see him going up against the ones but definitely keep an eye on Colts next guy Bruce Ellington it's really a battle because I don't think the Texans keep 
six wide receivers. The obvious wide receivers they're going to stay here. Hopkins, Fuller, and Cote. Those are the obvious ones. There's two roster spots for wide receivers. That's Braxton Miller, Sammy Coates, and Bruce Ellington. They're not going to cut Braxton Miller. I can almost guarantee it. So, it's going to be a battle between Sammy Coates and Bruce Ellington for that fifth wide receiver spot. I really don't think they keep a sixth wide receiver. I, I just don't see it happening. Especially when they might keep four tight ends. And the next guys to watch. Jordan Thomas and Jordan Aiken. The, these guys have created a huge buzz in training camp, especially Jordan Thomas. These guys, surprisingly, might be the tight ends of the future for the Texans. I wasn't happy with the picks, but hey man, if they can prove me wrong, I'll take it. I mean, I don't care if they prove me wrong. As long as they contribute to the team, that's all I care about. But here we're going to get a good look at, at them both. I'm pretty sure we'll see them for most of the game. They are rookies. They might. You can see them being out there with the ones early on and even playing with the twos. Could even see him with the threes, honestly. And the next thing to watch, Joe Webb versus Brandon Whedon. I think it's kind of penciled in that Brandon Whedon will be the backup. I really don't like that. I would prefer Joe Webb for obvious reasons because Brandon Whedon can't run the same offense as Deshaun Watson. So I would really like to keep someone like Joe Webb that has a similar skill set to Deshaun Watson. So... Hopefully Joe Webb outperforms Brandon Whedon, but that's yet to be seen. Next thing to watch is Joel Heath, Angelo, Blackson, Kamalu, and Carlos Watkins. Um, these are pretty much the backup defensive linemen. They're all really, really, really good. So who's going to be that rotational guy? That's pretty much what you're watching for. I think the guy that's kind of favorite to win that spot is Angelo Blackson because if you guys know why took a few days off like a couple days ago and Angelo Blackson was in there with the ones so it might be Angelo Blackson I could see it being Carlos Watkins Joel Heath was that guy in the past but Joel Heath hasn't really done much as of late next in the watch Fairbairn <laughs> as you guys know after Deshaun Watson went down Fairbairn was absolutely terrible is Fairbairn still going to be bad kicking PATs and field goals or was that just a last year thing and Next guy to watch, Tyler Irvin. He got hurt last year. Our primary returner. Is he going to be able to be good to go? And Davin Bellamy. Guy we picked up from Georgia. He's, he was supposed to be really good. He was supposed to be drafted. He went undrafted. And now he's with us. I could see him kind of being in the practice squad. But, yeah, that's all I really have for you guys today. Be sure to comment down below if I missed anything. But, yeah, thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.